Hi nieces and nephew in Missouri. Here's your Aunt Lynn, the art teacher, going to give you an art lesson on how to make a monarch butterfly from coffee filters. These are the cone-shaped coffee filters. They go into uh, the coffee maker like this. They're sealed together on three sides and open on one. This side is just folded. These two sides are mechanically sealed. When we do the project, we are not going to cut on this bottom seal. That's what holds the two wings of your butterfly together. So remember, we don't cut on the bottom seal. First, we needed some color for these monarch butterflies. So I used just food coloring, two colors, yellow and orange, to dye the coffee filters, just like you would Easter eggs. These coffee filters have already been dyed and I'm supplying them for you. First thing you will do is select a coffee filter. They look like they're tie dyed. And the next thing you'll do is select your pattern. Here's one that's easier to cut. This one is a little curvier so it takes a little more cutting skill. Or you can just freehand and draw your own butterfly wing on here. Notice this is one of the butterfly wings. So if you put two together, you have the whole butterfly. We're going to be working with half of the butterfly at a time. So you put your pattern on that bottom fold that won't be cut. Notice I have some sections of newspaper for padding on, on the table. This is a very good idea if you just read newspaper online and you don't have the physical newspaper. Layers of paper towel will do just fine. I have Sharpie marker and I'll trace the pattern and like I said this is the part you can freehand draw one half of a butterfly wing if you desire. You can be more creative that way. That's how it looks. Now I cut on that line making sure not to cut that bottom part that's sealed together. So when you open it up, there you have the whole butterfly shape. Now I worked with uh, lots of children at San Diego Botanic Garden recently making these butterflies and, and the most fascinating thing for the children was to move their arm up and down, up and down and you can see the butterfly flies. We need to put some patterns that resemble those on the monarch to do these butterflies. So I have some pictures that I've included in your packet, these very same pictures, so you can get an idea of what kind of pattern you're going to draw or design on your butterfly wings. As I mentioned before, we are going to work on the folded butterfly to do all the drawing, and you'll see why. The first thing I will do, though, after just saying that, is open it up and crease the middle like this because before we fold for the patterns, we'll need to do a head and a body for the butterfly. 
So the head goes here. Just make a circle. Color it in black. I'm looking at pictures of monarchs here to get my inspiration. And then I'm going to do a body with kind of a, a long triangular wedge like that. And color that in black. Maybe some antenna. So here we have a body for the butterfly and you will notice that the, the ink from the pen transfers to the back side. So you have the body you drew and the body that transferred to the other side. So this is a very handy thing that we can use to transfer all the lines of our patterns to the other side of the butterfly. So with it folded, you can use your marker again and draw an outline on the edge or near the edge all around this half of the butterfly. And when you open it up, you see it has transferred to the other side. Now this side, the transfer is not so clear, but I can barely make it out. So I'll go ahead and trace over that. If I fold it again, it'll transfer to the, other, to the next so side. So now I have an outline on all four sides. Fold it again. And you need to think of uh, the pattern that you want to show, the patterns that you want to show on the butterfly. To make it really simple, I usually tell the children to just make some leaf shapes. One, two, three. Something like that to start with. Then I see some other shapes in here that are very similar, kind of squeezed in as well. So I'm going to squeeze in a few more of those leaf or feather shapes, whatever you want to call them, behind the ones that I already have, like so. Open it up. Voila, the pattern's on this side. I can barely see it on this side. So I'm going to leave it open and kind of uh, look on the left and look on the right. Try to find those patterns that were partially transferred and draw them on. We want it to look symmetrical, that's rather the same on both sides. There we go. And there it has transferred, so we have it on all sides. The next step, you'll notice, is some bands of black on the edges, so we need to color in some thicker lines, thicken this line for a band of black around the edge. Now for the rest of the butterfly, you can leave it open. One thing I've noticed about butterflies in general is that they have a camouflage on the outside so when they're when they're um, trying to hide from predators 
like if they they've lighted on the uh, trunk of a tree their patterns are not that beautiful because they're camouflaging their wings so that they uh, become invisible to the predators but when they want to attract a mate and open their wings you'll see the beauty of their patterns So we're working on the inside, and this is going to be the beautiful side. And the back side we won't worry so much about for now on, when we're putting details in, because that's the side that's the camouflage side anyway. So I'm coloring in around the edges with a thick black band. And I see some of the lines on the inside are thicker as well, like these two, for instance. So I might choose a line that I've drawn to uh, increase the thickness of, so it looks more like the real monarch patterns, and do the same for the other side. Like so. And then again, I'm trying to make it symmetrical, so I'm watching one side and trying to make it match the other side. As I continue to color in the solid black areas. At this point, we're almost done. You can see why we need the padding of newspaper because we're going straight through with a permanent marker and we don't want to permanently mark your tabletop. So it's important to have a pad there. And the thickness of the pad, pad also helps the black color transfer to the other side in the beginning steps. So there we have it. I'm cleaning it up, trying to make both sides as symmetrical as I can. Now there's one more color that we should have because I see that in the patterns of the actual monarch butterfly. Do you see white dots along the edges? And there's also white dots on the body. So this time our white dots will be made with this whiteout pen. 
Sometimes when you're writing and you make a mistake, oh, it's so easy to delete and fix it up on the computer. But if you're doing actual writing, you might have use for a whiteout pen. You shake it first. It's, kind of, it's a type of paint pen. And you press down on the mistake that you made. I'm pressing straight down, and I'm also pressing the sides of the pen as well. So I'm tap, tap, tapping, and it, it releases the color, kind of a paint. And that's what I'm going to use to make dots on my butterfly wings. Tap, 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 tap. That's how you paint, by tapping. So I can start with eyes. Tap, 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 tap. And then I can make a pattern of white dots on this side and those to match on this side. So here it goes. Tapping multiple times for each white dot. Tap, 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 tap. So I have five, a row of five there, so. Let's match it up on this side. Row five. And some more over here. I put three, a group of three, so I'll do that to this side as well. And maybe another row here. I have put four, so I'll put four on this side. And continue on down. And finish it up. Place the cap. So there's our butterfly. That's the fancy side. And this is the camouflage side. So remember, to make it fly, you pinch this part that's holding it together and move your arm up and down and up and down and away goes your butterfly. I hope that you've enjoyed making a coffee filter monarch butterfly today. Happy holidays!